you for volunteering with the Character Conversation Telephone Reassurance Program. My name is Sydney Shetro, and I'm the Director of Volunteer Services for the Tennessee Commission on Aging and Disability. This short training will provide you with tips for effective communication with older adults and your duties and responsibilities in this volunteer role. The purpose of the Care Through Conversation program is to provide telephone calls to individuals for comfort and to check on the person's well-being and safety, reduce isolation, victimization, and health concerns, and provide a sense of security for at-risk older adults. Things to avoid when communicating with an older adult are to not speak too slowly or too loudly, avoid using baby talk with the person, such as honey or sweetie, and direct the questions to the person you are calling unless he or she asks you to speak to someone else. Some helpful methods when speaking with older individuals is to use a proper form of address, such as Mr. or Mrs., be polite, kind and speak in a clear voice, be courteous and do not rush the person, avoid using long sentences, ask simple yes or no questions, careful of language and mindful of the tone and pace of your voice. Additionally, we recommend reducing background noise while on the phone, be aware of cultural and generational differences, do not rush the conversation, allowing the person to have time to say everything they need. Hang up only after the person you called does. This reinforces the importance of the person you are calling. And to ensure understanding, ask them if they understand. If not, use different words to repeat the information. Hearing loss is a common sensory condition that impacts older adults. Some tips to reduce this problem are to be sure your initial greeting includes your name and the name of the service being provided. For example, good afternoon, Mr. Smith. My name is Sydney, and I'm a volunteer with the Care Through Conversation program. I'm calling to see how you're doing today. Remember to speak clearly, and if needed, slightly slower, but with a normal pitch. A higher pitched voice is often more difficult to understand. Pause briefly between sentences, and if the person has difficulty with letters and numbers, give a context for them, such as B is in blue or two is in twins. Cognitive impairment can also affect communication with older adults. Tips to assist such individuals include helping the person by explaining who you are and the reason you're calling, offer support and encouragement, person is searching for a word, provide gentle assistance, and remember to not rush the person. Use simple and direct wording by asking questions or making statements one at a time. If the person has difficulty understanding, rephrase what was said or use an example. Older adults with cognitive impairments may have problems answering open-ended questions. Try to use closed-ended or yes or no questions instead. Active listening involves doing two things with the person you call, being responsible for understanding what the person is trying to communicate, and showing that you are sincerely interested in what is being communicated. A kind and polite voice creates a positive impression. You can hear a smile over the phone. Telecommunication is 55% tone of voice, 38% words, 7% body language. Keep conversation friendly but respectful and try to connect with them on a personal level by being interested in what they have to say. Keep things easy with short, simple sentences with no jargon and try to use similar language to what the person is using. Above all, please remember that telephone reassurance is support that offers comfort and gives the person confidence without making false promises. Now we will discuss some of the duties and responsibilities of your volunteer role in the Care Through Conversation program. This volunteer role will allow you to engage older adults in conversation and assess their needs, including, but not limited to, access to meals, groceries or essentials, and medications. We are asking you to call one or more older adults or caregivers at least once a week, willing to call multiple times if requested, ask specific questions we have determined, 
and let us know at any time if you are no longer able to volunteer for the program. You can find more detail on your volunteer role in the Care Through Conversation volunteer role description that was emailed to you. When you are assigned an older adult or caregiver to call, you will be asked to complete a questionnaire after each individual call. These links will be emailed to you, and you can also find them in the volunteer guide that was emailed to you. It is important that you ask the questions on the form and give additional details on needs the person has in the notes section. Our staff will review each questionnaire as it comes in and help address any needs that have been determined. You are a vital part of the program to make sure any needs the person you are calling has are addressed as quickly as possible. On behalf of the entire staff of the Tennessee Commission on Aging and Disability and the older adults and caregivers we serve, we want to thank you again for volunteering with the Care Through Conversation program. I also want to thank Sarah Elliott and Annalie Cothran for taking the lead on the development of this program, Metro Golden and Laverta McCullough for developing this training, and Ryan Ellis and Rob Johnson for helping to promote the program to amazing volunteers like you and the people who are registering for the program. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me using the information on your screen. We look forward to working with you soon and making the Care Through Conversation program a success across the state.